everyone, I'm Kelsey Edwards for this week's NCDOT Now. This Halloween, the North Carolina Department of Transportation is encouraging parents, drivers, and trick-or-treaters to be safe. Now through October 31st, drivers will notice an increased law enforcement presence on North Carolina roads as part of the Halloween Booze It and Lose It effort. This is the largest campaign the North Carolina Governor's Highway Safety Program uses each year to keep the impaired drivers off the road. Parents and children celebrating the holiday should follow these tips. Carry a flashlight, wear reflective clothing, and stay in well-lit areas. Walk on sidewalks, not in the street. If there are no sidewalks, walk facing traffic and off the road when possible. Drivers should also travel slowly through neighborhoods and areas where people could be walking. This week, NCDOT's former Ferry Division Director, Harold Thomas, received the Governor's Award for Excellence, the highest honor a state employee can receive for dedicated service to North Carolina and its residents. Thomas served with the Ferry Division for over 31 years before retiring in August. Under Thomas's leadership, the division improved professional development for ferry employees, modernized its fleet, and launched the first seasonal passenger ferry service. His leadership has improved transportation for North Carolinians for years to come. Transportation Secretary Joey Hopkins was greeted with huge applause as he visited a Washington County school earlier this month to help deliver boxes of school supplies. The supplies were delivered to Creswell Elementary as part of Governor Cooper's annual school supply drive. So it means everything to add this to the collection that we already have so that when students need something, they, they are able to uh, get it. Finally, don't forget to vote for NCDOT's flood warning system in this year's America's Transportation Awards competition. The flood warning system is a finalist. That means your vote can help NCDOT win so we can donate the $10,000 prize to a good cause. That's all for this week's NCDOT Now. Stay safe, everyone.